I'm just going to fix uh, a typing error in the text. Um, now, there is a problem with the Blender game engine renderer not rendering text properly. I don't know why. Um, but there is a workaround which I'll show you now. Back into object mode. If I select, uh, go into the object menu and convert uh, to mesh from text, and do the same with this one object menu, convert to mesh from text. Now, if I render, and type something in, the text renders properly. When enter is pressed we want the input to be processed and output in this display. How do we do that? I'm going to name this logic brick text because it processes the text input and close that up using that arrow key there. I'm going to um, close this one up. I'm going to add a keyboard sensor. I'm going to press enter on the main keyboard and rename this one return and close that up. I'm going to add another keyboard sensor. Uh, I'm going to press enter on the numpad and call this numpad enter. And either or of those can be pressed, so I need an OR gate and connect that up. And the actuator I'm going to have is a message actuator. And now that can send a message, it can just broadcast it, but I want to send it to mesh display text 2, which is that object. Now, uh, subject, enter pressed, and I want to send the data in the body of the text, and the data is stored in the property text. We've set up the logic bricks for this text display. Now we need to set up the logic bricks for this text display. And the first thing I'm going to do is delete these logic bricks because they were duplicated from the other text display. So I'm going to delete that and delete that. I'm going to add a message sensor to receive the message, which I, the subject of which I call uh, enter pressed. Uh, and when we receive that message, we want to run a Python script. So we need to do uh, a new Python script, which I'll call enter.py and link to that. Now for the Python code. Now I'm going to uh, open a file with the code in, uh, copy and paste it in, and then go over it. So back to the file we're working on and paste. Now the first part of the code is standard game engine code. Uh, the only thing I'm going to check is that the sensor, the name of the sensor is message and it is. Now we sent a message and we sent the data in the body of the message. To access that data there is an attribute of a message sensor called bodies and it stores a string array of multiple bodies with a logic brick message you can only have one body but I guess with Python you can have multiple bodies and that string array will be stored in this variable here body now I want the first uh, from the the first string from the array so here it is um, the first element has the index 0 now that is a string so I've used a cast float to convert it into float so the distance in miles gets stored in a variable miles 
then we process that we multiply by the conversion factor which is approximately 8 over 5 and we store the answer in a variable kilometers now uh, the text display is stored in a property text so that is the distance in kilometers being put in the text display let's run it to see if it works remember to use the numpad now uh, there is a rounding error there um, and there's lots of other refinement that uh, could be done and should be done but as a proof of concept uh, it certainly works now I'll put all the files that you need and the final file on my website freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye